Reverend Devin Jesse Byrne here, and we have our first creature for today. One now, one now. And we're going to discuss the symbolism of a cat. Yes. This might not necessarily fit in with you if you have a, a or mini domesticated kitty cats yourself uh, because it's kind of washed out but as much as having it prominent in your experience and stand out you know the black cat crossing your path uh, you're not gonna hear any dark evil uh, bad omens uh, from me and my interpretation here but as much as you know the black cat idea it does establish a presence naturally of the mystical realms and ideas of what the spirit realms have to offer. I mean, look at this little guy, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute, he's so good again. And you know, I always found it interesting. I, w I was always a dog person myself, and then I lived with some cats, and I found it interesting that I actually had to pet the cat backwards from what I previously know how to pet a dog. It's really interesting. They want you to lick make it feel like you're licking the hair you know you probably know more about it than I do I don't have a cat but as far as the symbolism we can get into you're thinking about a lot of uh, pretty familiar stuff I am sure about it as far as the sense of, of pouncing think of waiting as far as for the right moment think of that like, uh, it's a symbolism, it's a sign, it's something telling you, <laughs> it's, it's telling you possibly, could it be, that you can be patient, be patient, wait for the right moment, right? could it be telling you it's the time to wait, could it be, could it be telling you and, and kind of representing the fact that your independence you're the boss of your domain. You're unaffected by threats, possibly. Just like any cat, right? So as much as the cat can be used in the symbolism, just like any animal, it doesn't have to be any Native American styles, as we talk about shaman. It's not necessarily specifically to any culture whatsoever. In fact, a shaman is a mystic that naturally has the ability to translate the spiritual realms or understanding beyond what the, say, social logic uh, reaches. And so that's what we're attempting to do here. As much as it's almost becoming popular to be able to think like this, we want to uh, think of it, the cat. Now, what does the cat represent? I'm sure you get ideas about uh, curiosity, adventurous, courageous, that it is in that way possibly representing the fact that you're you're being a little more brave at this moment and that you have this uh, or are being called to have this flexibility between what your work life and your family life and relationships have to do with maybe maybe you're in a current situation where you're feeling a little overwhelmed and you need to find a little more of an adjustment like you're already as much as any of the symbolism it's already calling to you you know it's there and you want to feel guidance and you want to hear the guidance and possibly you've already had these are confirmations so if a cat has stood out to you recently you can think of it in that fashion that maybe it's telling you to be a little more curious about the mystical things. Maybe just curious on how things work instead of knowing day in, day out uh, everything that your routine has to do with. Now, do cats have routines? 
Think of it in the allowing yourself to be a little more flexible and explore a different way home, possibly. A different direction to go today or something. Just get a little curious. Now perhaps, as mystical cats can be, it is calling you to alternate dimensional awarenesses. Perhaps it is representing your call to the spiritual universe. Perhaps it's time to find this deep relaxation. Maybe it's saying, hey, I'm standing out to you because you're ready. Perhaps today you're ready to find this deep relaxation to transcend into an alternate astral experience or in the spiritual universe have an out of body experience maybe an alternate vision of reality some say cats have these this ability to see other realms than what our eyes are capable of all three of them perhaps it's telling you and guiding you in this experience but feeling that call to be more mystical that maybe your attempts now is to be is it's attempts to communicate hey it's time to look more into the spiritual understanding of the universe you've been very logical maybe today it might be today it might be a whole change of your life might be just you know for the moment maybe That cat stood out to you just for that moment in that dream or in that waking life. Just for that moment to say, hey, stop thinking about this so physically. Perhaps this is more emotionally. Perhaps this is more spiritually. Perhaps there's something far greater understanding than what you are thinking about. So consider the other factors. What was this cat doing? Where, what were you doing? Where were you? Were you just fighting with a neighbor? Were you just talking with someone? And then this black, black, white, calico, doesn't matter. Uh, Walking in front of your path? What does it mean? Perhaps it has something to do with guidance telling you about what you are currently doing. Say, hey, think of this in the more deeper aspects of reality. Or... Be patient and wait. Hold off. Perhaps you were just going to go choose someone out. And the the cat's saying, hey, wait for the right moment to pounce. Relax a little bit. The right moment to attack. Just let it go. Soothe off a little bit. Now this is, of course, will always be personal to you. To you, I can say all of these things, but essentially you have to figure out what is going on with this representation in your current experience. Remember, the universe is speaking to you in this way. So yes, you can consider the color. Is it a black cat? What does black mean? Is it a white cat? What does white cat mean? More rare, that's for sure. A calico. Is it white and black spots? What is it? What does that represent to you? Does it have something to do with opposition? Perhaps you need to think more of the mystical yin-yang perspective. What is it calling to you? And I'm going to help you and give you all these ideas, but essentially you still need to do it yourself. So as far as, you know, what could this be saying? Uh, Predicting? If this is predicting something, be ready. Be ready. Keep your eye open. You're being called to do something. Get ready on your toes for the specific time in which you're being called to to act. Now, what is that acting? I think you have a pretty good idea. You will have a good idea. Just be ready. And even if that readiness is just just thinking about it a lot often, you're like, hmm, what could I be ready for? Just thinking about being ready is being ready 
You might know what it's about, but sometimes you might have a wrong idea about what it's about. You might be wrong, and you might be trying to get ready for, uh, let's say you got your life jacket, and yet you're climbing a mountain. I'm ready for the flood. I'm ready for going overboard. And yet you're hundreds of miles in the mountain. Miles? I don't know. <laughs> Up in the mountain. You got to be ready on your toes for what is in front of you. Not necessarily what you've decided that the guidance is, is already given you. That's the thing about guidance and the spiritual universe is it's in the moment. And it wants to teach you how to be in the moment. So in this whole experience, be ready. In a good way. Be patient. Not, not like on your toes and be like, <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready for something, something. No panic. We don't need panic. None of this and the universe does not intend for you to have a sense of, of bad omens and problems. No, this isn't guiding you to problems. This is guiding you how to have a peaceful, beautiful, joyful experience in your life. And your translation and how you use it in your mind is the willingness to go in that fashion. If you start thinking, oh, black cat, this is a bad omen. This means death. Some people didn't translate their dreams. I saw a cat. This, this means I'm going to lose my job. I might as well not go today. Right? No. These are all self-fulfilling prophecies. I will never tell you that this is somehow telling you that something bad is going to happen. I'm not going to translate your cards or anything in that fashion that something bad is going to happen. Because if you think properly and translate and interpret properly, nothing bad will ever happen to you. So I hope you can do what you will with that.